Okay, hi everybody. We're working through the quadratic functions and equations uh, review. We're on question 19 here. It says the, di the diagram below represents the graph of a quadratic function. Determine the equation of the function in factored form where a equals 1 and then find the vertex c. Okay, well, so what they're asking us to do here is to uh, find it in, f in, in root form first, okay? So factored form really is just root form. Now, we are given two roots here. Now I know it's probably not terribly visible from there, so let's just do this. So notice that the two roots that we're given here are negative 0.5 and positive 2, which means we can write this in, in two different ways here. I can say that x is equal to negative 1 half, okay? Now if that's true, I have to build a factor out of that. Now what I do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get 2x equals negative 1 then bring the negative 1 over, so 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So there's one factor. The other way to do this is to state that x is equal to positive 2. So like what I'm doing here is I'm identifying the roots here. So the root is x equals negative 2, or the x-intercept is x equals negative 1 half, x equals 2. And then what I do is I build the factor by simply pulling this over so it's equal to 0. Now if it's a fraction, I've got to get rid of the fraction first. And then I bring the term over so it's equal to 0. Now for this one right here, it's not a fraction. All I need to do is bring that over so it's equal to 0. And then these two become my two factors. So now let's zoom out a little bit here. We'll come over here. So I can say y is equal to a times 2x plus 1 times x minus 2. And now we're told specifically that the a value in this question is supposed to be 1. So that's y equals 2x plus 1 x minus 2. And now we're supposed to write this in vertex form. Okay, so to do that, what we'll do here is we will multiply this all out, uh, first of all. So, or so we want to find the vertex. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this a little bit differently. All the question wants us to do is find the vertex. So let's be, let's be clever about this. I know that my two x-intercepts there are negative 0.5 and 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the average between them, okay? The p-value, the p-value of the vertex here is going to be the average of those two numbers. So I'm going to take negative 1 half plus 2, divide that by 2. So negative 0.5 plus 2, I'll just do this really quickly in my calculator, divide by 2, and what I'm going to get here is 3 quarters, okay? So right here, what I see here is my axis of symmetry is going to cut this thing, the, the vertex through, but it's going to go through three quarters. It's halfway between negative 0.5 and 2. Now, to find the Q value of the vertex, well, I, got a, I have the equation right here. So what I would do here is evaluate this at three quarters. So 2 times 3 quarters plus 1 times 3 quarters minus 2. And just for simplicity's sake here, I will, I will do this on my calculator. Okay, so I'm going to go 2 times 3 quarters plus 1 times uh, 3 quarters minus 2. And I did a little syntax error there, forgot to put the 2 there. And what I get here is y is equal to negative 25 eighths. And so that's my vertex. Okay, my vertex is going to be the point 3 quarters, comma, negative 25 eighths.